Hong Kong is set to have an auspicious year of the rooster, according to a fortune stick drawn today at the Chokong Temple. It foretold positive changes for the city. Many spent the second day of the new year at the temple praying for good health and fortune in the months ahead. Rachel Leung reports. The Lunar New Year is a time for licey, good food and family. It's also when many flock to the city's temples to pray for good fortune. And Chekong Temple in Shatin has always been a favorite at this time of year. Worshippers made offerings to the gods and burned incense at the altar. Amid the clouds of smoke inside the temple, some rotated the sails of this copper windmill and gonged drums for good luck. I have done the good luck with the fortune wheels. Good health for all my family and joy and prosperous new year. While others wanted more than wishes. Because I want to buy this thing. For those of you who have had a rough time, it is believed that buying one of these windmills can help turn your luck around in the year ahead. And what about Hong Kong's fortune in the coming year? According to a lucky stick drawn by Hong Yi Kuk chairman Kenneth Lau, the city can look forward to change for the better this year. The stick bearing the number 61 is considered a good omen. In analyzing the fortune stick, the fortune teller said all things are going to be auspicious during the year of the rooster, but only under one condition, if society unites. When asked if the change is related to the upcoming chief executive raise, Lao simply responded by saying any new leader would paint a new picture for the city. See hopeful Regina Ip, who attended the ceremony, did more than pray for good luck. She also met with members of Hung Yi Kuk, hoping to garner their 60 election committee votes. When asked if she will be the one to bring about better changes, Ip said it was up to the people to decide. Meanwhile, another CE contender, retired Judge Wu Kuo King, did not attend any events today. Rachel Lang, TVB News. It's the second day of the Lunar New Year, which can mean only one thing, fireworks on Victoria Harbor. Our Caleb Lung is standing by in Chimsa Choi as tens of thousands of people gather along the harbor front for the show. Caleb, tell us more. Hi, Sonia. It's pretty cloudy and foggy here in Simsa Choi with a few light rain patches, which means the weather is not ideal at all to watch the fireworks. However, that hasn't dampened the mood of the people who had came here since the early afternoon to feel this annual extravaganza. The fireworks display will start at the auspicious time of 8 o'clock in the evening. The crowd started gathering at the harbor side this afternoon, hoping to get a good view for the show. Of course, there are the shutterbugs with their equipment, hoping to capture the prettiest moments. Although there has been some rain today, it hasn't dampened the festive spirit of spectators. I lived one year in England and it rained a lot, and I don't actually mind it. We're looking forward to it. The display can be seen from many locations on both sides of the harbor, including mid-levels, central, Wan Chai, as well as here in Chim Sa Choi. A number of roads on both sides of the harbor will be closed or rerouted as the police put crowd control measures in place as well as special traffic arrangements. Just like last year, 23,888 firework shells will be fired in a 23-minute extravaganza. Highlights this year include this place of the number 20 in the first scene, marking the 20th anniversary of the handover. The show will end with a 30-second fast and rhythmic firing of shells to celebrate a year of blessings. Viewers are reminded that with the road closures in place, they should consider taking public transportation. The live fireworks show will also be shown live on TVB Jade in a few minutes. Back to you at the studio, Sonia. And thanks to Caleb Bloom down along the waterfront in Chimsa Choi. Well, one store celebrated the Lunar New Year by inviting all of its employees to lunch. Now Milong takes a look at some of the auspicious New Year dishes. For this boss, the way to his employees' hearts is definitely through their stomachs. The dried seafood store in Shangwan is following a 50-year-old tradition to start the New Year with a feast. These eight auspicious dishes are meant to bring good luck. Dried oysters and black moss for those who are looking for wealth. Bamboo shoots in hopes that business will break new grounds. Fish for prosperity. 
Obviously, no Chinese meal is complete without a chicken dish, especially in this year of the rooster. All to be washed down with lotus root soup, meaning to have in abundance. The chef is this old lady who has been slaving in the kitchen since five this morning. In case you're wondering if all the lucky dishes had any impact on the business. Business last year is a little better than the year before, said the boss. Elmi Long, TVB News.